Hi everyone! I want to show you this really cool fun project that I'm making. I love it. Um, years ago when I started card making I vowed that I would never buy any more greeting cards and other than the Kelly Ray Roberts stationery kit that I bought a while ago I have not bought any cards. I've made all of my greeting cards but the one thing I inevitably never have is gift bags. So I'm always running out to the store to get a gift bag for a certain present. Well, not anymore. I just uh, found this awesome magazine. Of course, it's published by Somerset Studios and it's called Green Craft. And inside of it, they show you how to recreate cereal boxes into some gift boxes. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. I've got this uh, really big cornflakes box here and it's my I have two grandsons and um, they have a birthday one week apart so my first little grandson's birthday is next Saturday and it's a froggy theme and I got him a raincoat and some little boots and so I think they will fit nicely in this jumbo cornflakes box so I'm gonna show you how I make this into a gift box the supplies I'm going to be using are acrylic gel medium and I went out and bought a big jumbo tub because I know I'm going to be making a lot of these. Um, I've got scrap paper that I normally do not like. Um, actually I have this in a scrap pile for the grandkids but the colors go so nicely with the party theme so I'm going to use these um, papers and uh, just some scissors and some trim and embellishments and that's about it. First thing I'm going to do is trim off all the box top. So the first thing uh, you're going to want to do is cover the sides of your box. This is a 12 by 12 sheets of paper and this box I think is probably a, uh, about 14 inches long. So I cut a 12 by 12 piece of paper just roughly in half. I'm not measuring anything. And so what I'm going to do is uh, see the little edges there that stick out. So I'm just going to put that in the center and then I cut another piece like that. And there's no measuring here. We don't want to make this hard. It's supposed to be easy. So I'm going to apply um, acrylic gel medium to the bottom and just cover the sides like that on both sides and glue it down. So I've got both sides covered here. So uh, the reason I do the sides first is because the excess can overlap onto the front and then I'll cover it with a piece of paper. Now this next step, I only do this if I want to keep the bag and store it for later because I don't have enough space for a whole bunch of cereal open boxes. So I just take my uh, score tool and just kind of push down into the cardboard all the way down in there and then just uh, squish it close, make the ends meet here and then all the way down on both sides and then flip the bottom like that so it will store flat when it's all done. And then you can just file them neatly like this or like you would store in the other gift bags. Now we're going to go on to cover the sides and the bottom. Okay, I've had so much fun covering this box. So at the top you can see here, it's still kind of wet, but I've used uh, scallop circles and I just punched out six and turned them around just to kind of give it a scallop edge. So on this side it's solid and on the other side it is straight. So I'm going to go ahead and make some handles for this box and I was originally going to just braid some yarn scraps I had and then when I went to look in my yarn stash I had this cool stuff, I don't even know what it is, and it'll make perfect handles. So I'm going to punch two holes here with my crocodile and then knot this through and make some handles. So I cut two pieces exactly the same length and then what I did is I used my big chomp and I went kind of a little bit lower than the scalloped edge there. I want to make sure it's pretty strong. So I went from the outside in as you can see on this side here and I tied a really tight double knot and then I will trim it um, when I'm done. So I also went on to cut some scallop circles or just punch them with the Stampin' Up punch and put them on the front of the box there. And then I took the top note sheet from Stampin' Up. I ran it through the dots on the, it's like a, it's not a cuddle bug um, uh, 
embossing folder. It's a Stampin' Up! one, but it's sort of like the Swiss dots, and I'm not sure if you can see it very well. And then I inked over it with Studio G, that kind of lime green paint. And then I stamped the word Celebrate, so that's on the front and the back, or the back and the front, which, oh, you can see the polka dots on this side much better. So it's really, really, really cute. And to think this was all garbage. The last thing I'm going to add to my little gift bag are these paper flowers that I made the other day. It's just with scrap paper. Any paper works. This is just newsprint that they use to wrap up glass items when you purchase it. You just fold. Um, it's about a four inch strip folded in half so it's two inches. And then you just snip all the way down to the fold line, roll it up, and put a staple in the bottom. So I'm just going to glimmer mist those up and add them to the bag. We're just going to wait for these to dry and then I'll attach them to the bag front. So here is my super, super cute gift bag for my grandson. I've already wrapped everything in tissue and packed it up. And then we found this cute little frog at Ikea yesterday for $2.99. So I'm just going to put him on top of the bag. So there we have from printed paper that I discarded and a cornflake box that was going to go into the recycling, we've got a really, really sweet gift bag with my little paper flowers that were glimmer misted. I also did another one here. Um, I used a magazine that was headed to the Goodwill that I had. It was actually a book on how to make all these different Cupid angels. And I had remnants left over from those flowers that I made the other day at the Goodwill. This is the trim that was on them, and this was some of the stuff I trimmed away to make the flowers. So I made that into handles. This is a Fiber One cereal box, and I've left it folded down so you can see that they do fold nicely. So I just covered it using the gel medium with the pieces of uh, glossy of magazine paper and I thought it turned re out really cute too and I made these little flowers just with the leftover trim I just rolled them on a paper circle and there's a gold one right there so you can see that the variations on this are limitless it's a lot of fun great way to use up your trash so I hope you give that a try see you next time bye